Hello everyone, this is Nisha Radhur from Vision Lake and we have Raj Ambedkar who scored 605 in Lake 2022. He will be sharing his precious experience with us. So Raj, tell us about your Lake journey and how did you end up uh, taking admission to Vision Lake? Okay, so uh, as an Indian engineering graduate, uh, basically we have uh, three options broadly before us. Uh, the first is obviously the uh, option of uh, doing MS from the foreign country by giving the GRE exam. Uh, but uh, as everyone know that uh, GRE and uh, MS is not in the budget of every uh, common Indian who does engineering. Uh, the second option is obviously the MBA. But uh, again, if you want to stay in the technical field, uh, the MBA may not be a viable option uh, as it will be a complete shift from your previous academic career. Uh, so, for the ones who want to pursue their higher studies in India itself and they want to have a research journey or for uh, per se good placement, so GATE is a very good option. So, I decided to like uh, uh, appear for the GATE exam. Uh, so, obviously in my first attempt, I could not do very well. Uh, so, I enrolled for Vision GATE uh, in the year uh, 2020. And that time I secured All India rank somewhere 2500. Uh, so, uh, in this corona time again, like I prepared uh, like uh, with more focus and during this course of journey, I also like cracked uh, multiple other uh, competitive exams like uh, ISRO entrance exam and uh, triple IT Hyderabad exam and uh, today uh, in GATE 2022, I am landing up with uh, All India rank of 602. So yeah, that was my journey. So what motivated you throughout your journey? Uh, yes, uh, so uh, as we know that uh, the one who graduates uh, through a very tier 2 or tier 3 engineering college in India, mostly the placement that he lands up is mostly in the service based companies like we have TCS, uh, LNT, uh, Infosys, etc. So, if you want to make a transition from uh, the service based companies into the product based companies like Google, Microsoft, etc. So for this, the uh, GATE and MTech through IITs is a very good option which you have. Uh, so uh, within just a span of two years, you, uh, from the CTC of 5 to 9 lakhs, you can uh, land up to uh, 25 to 30 uh, LPS CTC or even more. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, so uh, placement was one of the motivation. And also the second motivation was uh, if you want to excel in the technical field itself, and if you want to like learn uh, more subjects which are like uh, more uh, in demand in future like ML and AI. So uh, for these subjects uh, in India, uh, they have, we have very good professors in uh, IISC Bangalore and IITs. So working with them and doing research with them, uh, you can uh, excel into these fields and land up with uh, a very good academics as well as uh, good placements also. So uh, these are some of the very good benefits of uh, this particular GATE exam. So Raj, as you said that you were working while you were preparing. So how was your experience for the people who uh, are studying while also working as it is very hectic and exhausting? Even for people who are in college like us, still they find it very exhausting. So working for 9 hours a day and then considering to give an entrance exam, also giving ISRO and cracking it. So how was your experience? Uh, yes, so as you rightly said that it is a very tough job for those who are working professionals. Uh, so here the key is uh, basically the time management and the discipline basically. Because uh, if you compare yourself with those who are uh, like full time gate aspirants. So like uh, even if they study for 8-9 hours of day, they still have ample time to chill out like that. But if you are a working professional, you should be very disciplined. Like uh, if you are working for 9 hours, like suppose morning 11 to uh, somewhere night 8. So you have to like uh, utilize your morning time and also the time after the office. And this is not possible for everyone. So I would definitely advise that if you have a very uh, like good kind of strong conviction for the gate exam. And if you are having sound financial condition, then you can uh, like opt for the option of quitting the job and preparing full time. Uh, but yes, for those who are working, it's like a, a very hectic job. You have to be very disciplined. And here the catch is you have to make maximum utilization of your weekend time. So in weekends, like if you uh, like in weekdays, if you are studying three to four hours every day, on weekends you can stretch it more, like uh, six to eight hours. So yes, uh, like that you can uh, manage these both things simultaneously. 
So what are the key points you think are very important while preparing for BAKE exams? Which you think you include in your lifestyle which help you a lot? Uh, okay, so before giving any exam, uh, I would say like this is my quote, study the exam before actually studying for the exam. By this, I mean uh, you first have to analyze what is the nature of the exam and basically what exam is demanding from you. For example, in India we have like uh, different types of exam. For example, if you look at the CAT exam, their syllabus is very narrow, like you have to study only the three subjects like uh, uh, DILR and quants and verbal. But uh, there the key is the calculation speed that in the minimum time how quickly you can calculate. And opposite to these are the exams like UPSC where you have a very broad syllabus and they are not testing your calculation speed but the depth, uh, depth, uh, breadth of the knowledge that you have. So basically gate exam I would say it's the perfect amalgamation of these two patterns like the, the syllabus is also very broad that you have the 10 subjects which you studied in your undergrads like if you start revising all those 10 subjects properly if, along with all the PYQs it would take almost one month and also you are testing the calculation speed like we have only 3 hours and 65 questions that is per question we have on an average 2 to 3 minutes so again the strategy here plays a very very important role uh, more than the knowledge I, I would say and I think the top 500 to 1000 students I think they have the same set of knowledge but the only key is how you are managing the pressure in those 3 hours, your question selection, your strategy of attempting the questions. I think that plays a very very important role in getting a very good rank in these exams. So Raj, if you were to give the exams again then which are those mistakes you would not like to repeat this time? Exactly. So, uh, very common complaint of the student in these exams is uh, I committed the silly mistake on that day. That day did not go uh, very well according to me. So, uh, to avoid the silly mistakes, uh, the thing that which I have personally followed is uh, when the question is like more easy, then you are like more prone to commit the silly mistakes because in hurry you will like mark something else. So if you think the question is very easy for you, like you know the answer and you can solve it in 10 seconds. So keep again the extra 10 seconds to verify your answer. So uh, that is the thing which you should follow for every question. So even if the question is being solved in 10 to 20 seconds, keep extra 10 seconds to again revise your steps, your answer, whether you have. So in this way, like we can reduce the silly mistakes. Like uh, our son used to say that we are all human beings, so uh, we should have that silly mistakes will happen, they are for sure, but uh, uh, what is in our hand is to minimize the effect of those silly mistakes on your rank. Uh, so yes, uh, so uh, you should be more uh, like focused and also uh, like uh, verify every step uh, and take some extra time to verify your answer uh, before moving on and don't be in hurry, be calm. So your calmness and your ability to handle the pressure will decide your rank. So Raj, what are the tips you would like to give the viewers who are going to appear for exam next year? Okay, so to all the aspirants who are like aspiring for GATE 2023 and aiming for a very good rank, uh, I would advise that my main advice would be start as early as possible that because that gives more advantage and uh, it is important to have a proper strategy as I said earlier both uh, the preparation strategy and the exam day strategy uh, in preparation roughly if you are giving one year as an average student so uh, uh, have a proper schedule like complete the syllabus by the month of October or November so that you will have uh, uh, roughly the uh, two to three months of time for giving the test series and uh, not uh, giving the test series just is not enough it is very important to analyze the test series and while analyzing the test series don't just focus on the questions where you got uh, the wrong answer but also on the questions where you got right because uh, there is a possibility that uh, there might be some other logic and you got the right answer by a chance so in the last couple of months it is very important that you focus on all the previous year questions especially last 21 years question not just in one iteration but uh, two to three iterations and also uh, the test series and it is also important to have the strategy of uh, the exam day that is how in what sequence you are going to attempt the uh, question paper uh, because on that particular exam day uh, your capacity to handle the pressure in those three hours uh, your question selection and also your accuracy avoiding the silly mistakes these are all the factors combined together which will decide your final rank thank you so much raj it is so nice to have you here 
I know your precious journey and your experience will help lot of lot of us during our preparation. So Vishen Dek will be right back with our new toppers and talking about their journey and experience, which will help you throughout your preparation. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.